And we're back. I have three of the medallions done. I have the one in the center and the two upper corner ones. And so far, so good. I'm just going to explain something that I did here. Um, I'm going to zoom in in a minute, but you'll see that there is like a raised part here, which is the stem of the leaves that the original designer had made. So what I did was I made sure that I crossed over as little as possible. So I only, like I tried to pick some strategic places to cross over so that I would keep the integrity of the stem. We had a little issue here. The fabric is a little bit torn here. So I quilted over it and I put on some fray checks. So hopefully that'll hold. It's a good thing this thing will never be washed. And then I tried something. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it, but I'm not gonna take it out. So I'm going to have to do it consistently on all the other ones. I did that heavily dense, like here, that dense quilting around the petals. Now this left me with a bulge here. So I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do that. Like, I think I'm gonna be doing straight lines across like I did with my practice piece. So hopefully that will, will come out. I'll steam that a little bit too. Um, but that's the result of having a lot of heavy, dense quilting here and here. So I'll have to try and be creative to fix that. I'm not sure. If there's a lot of, of creases, maybe that's where I'll put some of my crystal beads when I have them. Um, anyway, we'll see. I'll make the decision on game day, as they say. So, um... So far, so good. It's looking good. I'm going to have to take this off the frame soon, though, because I have a couple of other projects I have to work on. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to try to get all five medallions done first. I only have two more to go. And then I can take it off and work on the other things and then come back to this. Um, yeah, so that's where we are at this point. Okay, we have a slight change in plans. Um, the more I looked at it, the more I didn't like the really dense quilting all around it. I didn't like the bumps that it was leaving. So I spent a considerable amount of time pulling out all the stitching. I did damage the fabric a little bit. Um, this is a fray check that you see here. It's not completely dry yet, which is why it looks like water. So what I think I'm going to do is when I do the lines across, which is the idea, uh, if it still looks damaged, then I'm going to use the opportunity. This is where I'll put my crystal beads all around the flower petals, not just around this one, but around the other ones as well. And that way you won't really see the damaged fabric. And um, I think that would be a really nice way to highlight the flowers around there. So that's where we are now. And this part of the quilting is now done. All five medallions are quilted. And I think they look pretty good. So I'm happy with them. There are a few places where, you know, the fabric was very thin or it frayed and we'll deal with those problems as we come across them. But so now my next step is I'm going to take this off the frame. I am going to take out all the water soluble stitching here and then I'm going to spend some evenings watching TV, trimming off the lace and then using the salvageable parts on the quilt. So. I did make another change as well. You may remember earlier in the video, I said that I had traced, um, and I showed you I traced a small medallion that I made that was a copy of the lace, and I didn't like the way it looked. So I took it off and decided not to do that. So that's it for this part. I'm gonna go work on another project for now, and, but I'll get back to this shortly, and then we'll see what the next steps are. <laughs> 